There are humanoid Syrians that are like us, some with the elongated skulls. There are blue light beings, there are lion beings, there are feline beings there, as well as aquatic forms of intelligences. Dolphins are from there. And there is a form of intelligence there as well. It's sort of like a cross between a human, a seahorse and a dolphin as well. <laughs> uh, there's so much cool stuff out there that it's just beyond what people can perceive. The first real interactions that I could describe were of a healing nature with a being called Patma and there was two others as well. So they're feline humanoid beings. Now I've always had experiences since a child. Some of it was with, you know, seeing shadow forms or apparitions and being psychic but not really realizing it. Though I don't really like the term psychic. But as I was finding my light within and navigating the path to that, which these beings helped and assist with. They didn't do it for me and they're not our saviors, but they assisted with that process and it's ongoing. There was some very dark things that were happening in terms of, uh, we could say black magic, psychic attacks, attempts of remote influencing and what have you, to where the way it was put to me was that I had to go through these things to realize what I'm capable of. Just like before I was known for all this, I would get called or go and investigate some of the most haunted places in Australia. And that was really much boot camp for what I'm doing now and boot camp for what I was to endure and experience. But got to a point to where it was very strong and I was having a hard time. I was in a lazy boy type couch one day and meditating, eyes closed and all of a sudden, three feline beings appeared. Just, it was almost like my vision turned on to where I was real time, that where and how and the angle that I was on, if my eyes were open, that's what I started to see with my eyes shut, but I could see these beings there. And when I opened my eyes, they were there. They were there in apparition form. Now, over a few of these visits, the way I could describe it was they were pulling out my energy body and running their poor like hands through it. The only way I can describe it was it was like they were tuning my energy, bringing balance back to it. Because of all the stuff that was going on, my energy was distorted. And so they were tuning it like an instrument, bringing balance back to that. And they were pulling stuff out and it was being dissolved into what I could describe as like a portal. And with this, there was a knowingness that I knew these beings and that they were familiar, especially one of them which is Patma. And she's part of a group called the Lashria. Now these are what we could say are manipulators of energy. Going into the Syrian aspect, they are explorers. And one place there is very much, if you can imagine Egypt in a rainforest, but the statues and the pyramids and what have you laid with gold, very much like one of the environments uh, within Sirius. There is an aspect with these experiences that one, they are first and foremost about you when you have them. And the flip side, part two, is that through these experiences, if they've got fruit to them, and that's how you can tell what's good or bad, what's the fruit from the experience, you will find and be able to navigate through passion and purpose and the knowledge that you glean from these experiences, your part in the collective. So first it's about you, but from that you find your part in the collective and your passion, your purpose and your journey and what have you. There's other beings there. There's a race called the Maha. And Kali and Mangara are a part of that that I work with on occasions as well. And what I'll say is that there's so many beings that I meet at times through the ERC. So I've got my own personal experiences and then there's other beings that I've met through meetings with the Elohim Representative Council. This is where there's a brief sort of outline with that with one of the books, Extraterrestrials, their messages for humanity. And uh, yeah, the, the other beings that are beautiful that I work with at times there is uh, variations of the lion beings, which can appear in green and orange golden orbs of light. They can appear as light beings. They can even appear in your mind's eye, like a cartoon version of a lion. And they do have a sense of humor, but they are protector beings and they know how to kick butt. Now, some of them are in Leo. Some of them are from Lyra as well. And they work with what we could say, the ascended 
Lyrians and beings that are descended of the many worlds that basically if you leave universal law or leave the path of ascension to do what we just say things for self-service and self-gain they'll let you do your thing and they'll go their own way there are many of them some of them are stationed within mountains and certain parts of earth multi-dimensionally but they're operating in another frequency another dimension let's say in a mountain or what have you and they're operating at different densities of consciousness as well